After our last visit between Tata Technologies and Conveyor Components, we discussed our data management offerings from the Autodesk um, product family of solutions. We came to the realization that when working inside of the data management environment like I have shown on the screen, it was definitely important for us to be able to follow release processes with inside of our design. Since that meeting, we've taken advantage of some of the conveyor component information and brought it into the data management environment. Also, I've gone through and released some of these items. The reason for the creation of this video was to show the external or lightweight web client viewers that are going to be available for use to anybody within conveyor components. As we discussed in the meeting itself, the main need for a viewer was for outside people, shop floor, sales managers, plant managers, and so on, to be able to retrieve this information in a simpler fashion than they do today, have some other abilities to print, um, mark up the drawings themselves, and also truly only see released information. So as we discussed with the data management environment itself, there was a couple needs that needed to be handled. And that was, one, to control our data. So all of our information that's going to be viewed by outside client people is going to be viewed as released items only. So now I'm going to move into what the outside people or people that need viewing into the data management environment are going to utilize. So here on the screen I have basically Internet Explorer. From Internet Explorer we would suggest that we put a, a, you know, a commonly found or a favorite to our data management web client. All of our outside people will have unique usernames, or it can be determined that maybe one username may be used. But again, with this, the permissions are going to be provided for what people can see and cannot. So with this information typed in, I'm going to go ahead and log into the conveyor com component data management environment. As we can see, we're going to follow the same folder structure that was given to Tata Technologies from conveyor components. So in this case, we also understand that we can control all types of data inside of this environment, not just inventor data or design or engineering data, but we can also control Excel files, our PDF files, JPEGs, um, video files, even Word documentation. So a nice example of this is even just grabbing a Word documentation and simply we can open it from this environment. Uh, with inside of this environment, by selecting the open, it's going to go ahead and launch our applications as needed. So we can go through, we can launch that process into our Word document and actually view that documentation as necessary. Additional functionality of the web client user interface is going to take us a little bit farther, so I can go back to my file list. And within that, I can go into my workspaces themselves. There's a lot of great functionality that lives inside of data management that's going to allow us to go through and capture and link file information together. So let's say we just wanted to review, maybe I'm a salesperson, a plant engineer, and just wanted to review some 3D data from one of our file selections. So as I go through and work with that, we're going to see some of the tools that are available. We're utilizing the DWF technology from Autodesk. And with that is a simple click on the file and from here we're going to have the capabilities of viewing this file in its 3D format. And once this loads up here quickly for us, we're going to be able to view this file and have a lot of the same common tools that we would find inside a design review. So we can have our 3D model, we can view our 3D model, and work with it as needed. So we have our 3D model on the screen. We can also utilize the, the other functionalities that come along with design review. Of course, our printing options, as we know, are a requirement for this environment. Potentially, our markup and measurement items, too. So if there's ever a case I may need to take a measurement from inside of this environment, I can go ahead and provide that with inside of my um, design review environment to quickly go ahead and calculate that type of information. Maybe it's the distance between two areas. Taking this one step further, of course, we do have some other capabilities are there, some, just some other tools that are available. We can actually do some sectioning, some moving of items. But, you know, speaking of the technology, it's just our ability, again, to go ahead and visualize the 3D aspects of our models themselves. Getting back into 
just let's say the data management environment, uh, we can go back to just my file list here. And this time we're going to take a look at a little bit different avenue. Um, with that avenue, I can take a look at, you know, maybe the DWG file. And one other thing I did want to point out in the 3D file itself is the ability to, of course, understand what maybe makes up this file and where else maybe this file lives with additional information. Maybe in this case we have the uses. So a lot of things that make up, what are, what's all the parts that make up this assembly file is available for us. Maybe any history that goes along with this file being released, we're only going to see the latest and greatest. Where used, maybe is there anything else in our system? We know that this assembly file is used in this DWG document, so I can get to that, and we'll get to that in one second. And of course, any other attachments. So in this case, I've gone through and I've added additional attachments to the file itself. Maybe it was that, um, doc, that doc folder, or I'm sorry, that Word document. Maybe there's a JPEG that goes along with it. So we can see a full list of information from this environment and other file types that we can attach to the files themselves. Getting back to the where used, I can take a look at the DWG file that's going to come along inside of um, the environment itself. So with this, maybe I want to take a look at the DWG file. Again, I can launch basically another um, lightweight session of design review itself with just looking at the DWG file or that DWF file, much like a PDF but much lighter. With this we get a few other things that can happen inside this web client. Again, we're just working inside the Windows Internet Explorer web client that's um, encompassing and looking at our vault environment or our data management environment. Again, we have all the tools that are necessary, the markup, the measurement, <coughs> Excuse me. So if we do find something inside of our design that may need to change, we do have the markup tools that are available, just like in Design Review, just from the lightweight client. Maybe in this case we need to change a material type. And I am typing a little bit small here, so you, of course you have the ability to go through and change the font or the, the you know the um, the font or even the size of the text we're utilizing. With making any of these changes, I do have the capabilities to write this information back into um, our, our data management environment to be reviewed by others. So maybe in this case, you know, someone came through and rejected it because of the material itself. So we, there are some stamps we can generate inside of the environment to utilize. So again, a much stronger platform than maybe utilizing PDF, um, and in many cases, a much lighter weight and simpler way of working. And we have the ability to access this from anywhere in a very lightweight format. So again, to kind of go back to the idea of the importance of working inside and with collaboration itself, right? So there's a couple things that we want to go through and we want to verify or just clean up um, and enhance with inside of conveyor components itself. A lot of those ideas come around the idea of how can we access our data, how quickly can we access our data, and what other types of data formats can we access. So our answers to all those questions are anybody viewing this data with the proper logins is only going to see released information. That's going to stop any p possible negative effects of maybe building or manufacturing to a wrong part or wrong print because we're only seeing the released data. We have multiple ways of coming into this environment and working with the data itself and the different file types that we can associate and link together. Of course, some of the other things we needed to accomplish was giving us the ability to go through and work with other types of documentation. So with that being said, we have the ability again to store any type of data format, any electronic data file, again, an Excel file. Uh, PDF file, JPEGs, WMVs. So all this information is available for us to use inside of our in environment. No third-party um, you know, viewers are needed in, in many cases. So we can go through and just, again, reuse this information very effectively, very easily inside of our data management environment. So I hope this little video has helped us preview the idea and the technology we want to provide to convey our components for viewing their data management environment. It's secure, it's safe, and it's fast. Thank you.